How's it going, everybody? Pack Bros are back. My name's Rob. I'm Chris. And today we're breaking our first box of 2022-23 Series 1. Crazy to think this is our third run at Series 1 now. Yeah. We started this channel doing Series 1 2020. An 21, case. A whole case of it. That's how we kick things off. And we're still around, so we must be doing something right. Or we're just gluttons for punishment. But in any event, uh, we bought a box of Series 1. In fact, we bought two boxes. So if True. you'd like to see both boxes, you'll have to subscribe. And make sure you keep tuned for when the second posting goes up. But we bought two boxes. And these boxes were special. Because we bought these boxes at the Toronto Sports Expo, which took place a couple of weeks ago from well, the filming. He bought them. I wasn't there. I bought them. Um, but we split them anyways. And we I purchased them at the expo for a pretty good price. I'm not going to let, let go how much it was being charged for there. But in any event, uh, the reason it's opened is because it had to be sealed broken in order for us to get a promo pack from Upper Deck directly. I have not done too much research as to what's in these packs. I believe there's Parkhurst rookies in there of the 2022-23 crop. I'm gonna guess there's gotta be some autos and some short prints and stuff like that, but I really didn't look much beyond seeing a couple people open them there at the show. In any event, you'll have to stick around to the end of the video to see us break that. We are gonna open that at the end of this box. As for the product itself, typical series one, uh, lots of inserts, young guns to chase, Matt Boldy, Marco Rossi, uh, who else? Owen, Owen, Owen Power, Power uh, Matty Beniers. So a good young guns crop here, uh, kind of growing quickly. The these these players that I mentioned, and quite honestly, you just never know which young guns are going to take off, even halfway into the season, maybe next season. It's it's fascinating because we've done collecting cards for a while now. And whoever you think is going to sell best immediately doesn't often happen. So there's a little bit of a game, you know, a, a, a timing game to play there. I'll give an example. Jason Robertson yep. from the first series that we That's opened. The first guy that came to mind for me. Didn't care about those young guns at all. It was whatever. He went into a pile. All of a sudden, he's top 10 league in points right now in his second season. Mm-hmm. Point per game player, looking really good. His young gun is 40, 50, 60 bucks. Jake Ottinger, goalie for Dallas didn't sell for much he's playing really well right now his young guns going for 20 30 40 bucks so these types of things where you just kind of linger and maybe hold on to the young guns you never know maybe a hit that we don't get excited about today is a great hit in two months we'll have to wait and see but in any event that'll uh, be a good watch in the future too because you're gonna laugh at how uh yeah how wrong we were exactly in, in that video exactly and, and on the flip side we were chasing that laffy card we were chasing that laffy card and uh meh. yeah just me that's the whole reason we got the case too Pretty much. We thought Lafreniere was going to be a big deal. There was so much hype around it. Turns out we should have got a Series 2 case and chased Caprice off instead. But anyways, yeah. one, two, three, four, Chris. I'll go three, four. One, two, three, four. I don't know. One, two, three, four, six. One stack looks a little thicker. Who knows? We got McDavid as the cover athlete on this one. I like the gray color scheme, I'll be honest with you. I think they're getting a little bit too wild with the colors before. We had like a maroon and a pink and like a purple, but this is a nice clean look. And yeah, as I mentioned, it's only been opened up because we had to break it to get the promo pack. All right, diving into it. This is our first pack of 2022-23 Series 1. This is actually really interesting to me because I started collecting in 12-13, so this kind of marks a decade of product mm. for me, of, of opening cards. Here's a look at the base card design. If you haven't seen it already, we're not going to do this for every single pack, but I don't love it, to be honest with you. I think this is too small. Uh, obviously, the, the cut on top is poor as well, but whatever, it's just a base card. I really wish this was a bit bigger. I think they need to up the font to, you know, 10, 12, whatever it may be. Something that's not four. Yeah, it, it just looks a little bit too subdued. It almost yeah. just looks like a picture on a card. I like the clean approach. I like the colored approach at the bottom there as well. The sends red. I assume each team is going to have a different color scheme. Want to do a comparison of last year's? Yeah, game. I mean this. This I don't know. I understand this looks more templated, but it also looks more like a hockey card. This just looks like a picture of Artem Zub. At least it's legible too on the yeah on the twenty twenty one. So I don't know. Uh, I'm not too sure what the purpose of that is. And already off the bat, we're, we're doing flippy stuff. Oh, boy. Which I also don't like. Upper Dex has been pretty good for that. And, yeah, we're going flippy. And not this time. Flippy again. And Young Gun's off okay. the bat, though, of Bobby Brink. Doesn't even sound like a real name. At least the Young Gun looks cut, cut okay, because the base that was in here did not look very good. But, uh, yeah, so we'll go back to the base design there. The back looks nice and clean. That's fine. I just don't love the front. But there you have it. Bobby Brink Young Guns off the bat. Modern. Pick Young Guns per box in case you guys forgot or didn't know. Now it's time for my first pack of 
23, Series 1. I'm going to get an honor roll of Lucas Reichel. Uh, oh, Superstar honor roll, I should say. On the first one. I like that one. It's a nice design. And the name is larger as well. Now that you mention it, the, the name, like the font size really is bugging me. It needs to up a little bit. Way bigger. I gotta go way bigger on that. I don't mind the design otherwise. I just think it's a little small. There's McDavid. Yeah, design's decent. It's just... McJesus. I, I want to read the name. It takes me back to opening like Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Yu -Oh cards, which we also do in this channel. Check it out if you're interested. But sometimes like the, the names on those... Jamie Drysdale, debut dates, insert. Sometimes the names on the Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, like there's so much text and it's not like large enough. It yeah, literally yeah, just yeah, looks yeah. like a block of like silver. It's, it's bad. Here we go. Next pack. Stuart Skinner, Stolars, Tanner, and a young gun of... I always get confused with these with these Jacobs. It's either Jakob it's or probably, it's literally Jacob. It's probably Jakob. I'm going to say Jakob Galvis on the young guns. So we have two already right off the bat. Let's not forget we do have to keep our eyes peeled for those French cards. True. One in... Um, one box? One per box? One in 30 packs, so... Oh, so not quite one per box. Not quite. The French print young guns are one in 120. So that would be a very nice one to get. Honor roll of Tristan Jari. Superstar? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know about Superstar. There's stretching with that? Yeah, a little bit. Depends on the day of the week, to be honest with you. Stuart Skinner. Anthony Stolars, Stolars again. Hey! hey! Veneer okay. Young Guns. Hey, going through the Young Guns really quick, but at least we have... Uh... At least we have hit. one of the top names. That's very, very solid. Yep. I also like uh, how the young gun design kind of goes pretty, pretty well yeah, with this his coloration jersey there. as well. This coloration is very nice. Yep. Sick. Let's leave that right away if you don't mind. Yeah. Double check for anything else. Nope. All right. Veneers young gun. We're already three young guns in, so hopefully we got some more quality content coming. I have never pulled an exclusive young gun. I would love to pull an exclusive young guns. I feel like I see them all the time. Mm -hmm. Everybody's selling them. I don't understand how you hit them because I've never hit one ever. I would love to get an exclusive Young Guns in 10 years of opening packs. And another Young Guns of Holy. Frederick Karlstrom. I hope these boxes aren't like map. Can you use a different face for Stutzla, please? <laughs> they use the same one again. This is either the same one or worse because he looks like he's checking his three oh, and, and nine at the same time. God. I think it's slightly different, but it's, it's somehow worse. All right. Let's see if we uh, keep this Young Gun train rolling. John Morrell, Kyle Palmier, Jesus. Wow. Dude, literally all the young guns are coming right off the top of the box here. Isaac Ratcliffe on the young gun. That's uh, five young guns now. I was saying earlier, I hope it's not mapped like this, because we have another box that we're going to open as well. And if that one is the same as this one, then there goes all the excitement within the first, like, six minutes. Well, we do have that promo pack to open at the end. True. Shea Theodore with the golden CCM helmet. Frederick Ooh. Anderson portraits. It's a nice design. That is, that's my favorite portrait design. You know what's part. funny? You know, that looks you know, really, really nice. You know what I laugh about with the portrait design? Is like two, two years ago, they went with this like 90s retro funky kid like thing, and now they're making it regal. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I actually remember those. It looked like uh, Saved by the Bell. True. That's actually a really good comparison. <laughs> Thankfully, our demographic is old enough to actually remember that reference. It better be. You struggled on your last pack. I'm struggling on this one. I did struggle on my last pack. Good lord. All right, next pack. We got Tanner, Victor, Samuel, Carol. Oh, there's our French print. Obi? Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's that's a good French. French print. That's a very nice French to get. And these are not guaranteed one per box, so we actually had uh, below, uh, below the average pull right there. Cool. Nice. And that was it. That was a hit. That was a hit. All right. We don't have to look for that anymore. That's a good hit to get for the French. Anything short printed. And especially OB considering nice. his trajectory right now, it's looking like he's... I mean, the only thing I'd prefer is an actual French player with the French print. Yeah, true. But Otherwise, I'll take an OV or a Superstar. Ooh. Defense Mechanism, Drew Doughty. Oh, it's very nice. That's a cool design. I, I, I like the... I like the... I like the color scheme. Mm -hmm. I like the name. I think it's stupid to have seven pictures of him. I think there's a better yeah, way. I, I knew exactly where you were going with that. This is like, someone just sat there and did control C, control V. You know what I think they could have done with this? You remember the electromagnetic cards yeah. that we had? I think they should have done yeah, something like done that. that. Or like four of them. Or him. like him and then like like shadows or outlines or, or like like, yeah. a, like a silhouette of him yeah. instead. That, that That's a bit silly. Not just 
seven of them. It's literally copy paste and lower opacity. <laughs> that's, all, that's all they did. All right. Ryan's an Adam. Roman Yossi. Yossi. Case. Ooh, rookie retrospective nice. of Anton Lundell. Nice. I will say the, the the designs so far in 2022 23 i'm i'm very happy with them yep they look really really good no complaints from me there aside from the text on some of them but it's uh it's looking nice i will say that portraits was like the biggest improvement i've seen so far there's our hey. dazzler of victor arvidson i believe it's one blue dazzler per box Dazzler looks more or less the same, just a little more fireworky. Next pack. My hit will be another portraits of Jonathan Mar Marsh. Marsha So. You got it, yeah. Oh, thank God. And let's keep in mind there could be a well, well I don't think there's canvas in here for young guns, but clear cut young guns and exclusive young guns, those do not count towards your six total. So true. And we've actually had very good luck with surpassing the, the young gun totals there. Another defense mechanism. This one's of Jared Spurgeon. I see. If I had to guess our average, I think our average would be like eight young guns per box because we've had yeah, some we've that were like ridiculous. We we've, we've had a lot that were like nine. The only thing with series one is the canvas is uh, it's not in there. series two. Yeah, the right. canvas young. There's no canvas young guns in series one. Mm -hmm. And just so you guys know, French young guns one in one twenty clear yes. cuts one in two eighty eight. So we're looking for a clear cut if we can get one. Yes, which we have gotten in the past. So. It's not we've impossible. We've gotten both. We've gotten a couple of loops and we've got a couple clear cuts. We can definitely do it. We're getting all the defense mechanisms here. That's like three of them, in, uh, yep. not in a row, but three of them total. Travis Sanheim of the Flyers on defense mechanism. They can improve that one. It's the only one I have a gripe with. Like in concept, it was probably a cool idea, but in execution, it should be like, hmm. I also don't like the picture that they use for this because it kind of looks like there's like laser beams coming out of his eyes a bit. Mm -hmm. Rookie retrospective of Jeremy Swayman. He was selling really well at the beginning of the year, but Linus Olmark has now taken the crease for Boston, and Boston is killing it. So uh, he'll be in the wings for now until Olmark comes back down to earth. Got Eric Carlson, Lucas Raymond, Grishev, and I'm surprised this is our first canvas. Usually we get a lot more canvas. Drake Batherson of the Senators. I feel like I read that canvas is a bit more rare this time around rare in 2022 yeah okay i'm I not think. upset about that because we we used to get canvases galore yeah it says one in seven packs for canvas oh okay so that's like that. only three per box oh it's a young gun volteri pustin for the penguins all right i think that sums up our six that is our six hopefully well there's only four or five packs left here so Hopefully we can hit a couple of good inserts. Maybe uh, there's a chance. A clear cut or something. Just have to believe in the heart of the cards. Kevin Hayes. I don't know what the heck this clear. is. It's just not a oh, just a young gun. clear base. Yep. Oh, that's upsetting. Capo Kakinen. 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 Capo. Kaka. 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 Uh, I'll put that with a French. Base clear cuts are one in ninety six packs. So I mean. Oh, that's actually. Okay. Be nice. We got a better player, but that's one every uh, what, four four boxes, three boxes. Yeah, give or take a bit. Canvas of Patty Kane. I anticipate Kane will be traded by the trade deadline this year. Although Chicago's not playing terribly, I just think it's time for him to make a move. Oh that's wow, a, that's a great picture. <laughs> oh boy, that's the best one so far. I don't know what the heck this is. Oh, population count. Connor Hellebuck. 1,000. Oh, oh, and a... Uh, huh? Um, did, did we miscount? Are we just... Are we just lucky? Is one numbered and I'm blind? Is one a young loop? I have three. I have one, two, three, four. Okay. Hang on. Now, now I want to check mine. No number. It means they're one of four packs. No number. No number. Okay. Well, okay. Well, we're on the right side of a miss pack, and I'll take it. Now, his population count, might might that be numbered or no? We There's kind a of, number on it. It'd be smart if they did that. No. No, it just says 1,000. I feel like there should be some rhyme or... Because I've seen a template for that card before and it didn't say 1,000. It said different number. Not for... It's got to correspond to something that they did in their career, but it's not... Well, it'd be cool if that was like, that's what it was out of. They just didn't... 
Oh, they just didn't stamp it. Oh, yeah. okay. I see what you're saying. Other other companies do that. Huh. I I don't know. That's weird. Let us know below if you know what the population count means. There's just some random number. I thought it would be at least the card number or what it's out of. Mm -hmm. Interesting. My last pack. I think we're still owed one canvas and we owe them one young gun. <laughs> Center of attention. Hey. Sidney Crosby. It's a PC. For sure. Nice. I, I, he, he seems dulled out. Like he's, 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 it's not very vivid. It's like the picture's too bright. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's almost like the contrast is up. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> nice card and all. I'll go to the PC. You guys know what to do. Like button for last pack luck. Here we go. Dowdy. Keller. Hey, oh yes, my god. Yes, dude. Yes, Marco Rossi. What is this yes. box? We got an extra extra regular young gun, which we shouldn't have gotten. We got a veneer. Is that his name? Yeah, veneers. Yeah, Maddie Veneers. Veneers. Marco Rossi, upper deck canvas young gun as well. I didn't think they had a canvas. That is ridiculous. That's got to get sleeved right away, Holy sir. smokes. Wow. All right. Well, our second box is either going to bring us down to earth or it's going to be another fantastic one. For real. Holy. Good stuff. We got a Lafreniere uh, Young Gun Canvas as well, didn't we? We did in our case. We got a... I mean, it took us till box like 400. No, I'm kidding. I know, dude. <laughs> it was like one of the last boxes we hit the Lafreniere and the one after it. I think it was box like 10 and 11. We finally hit yeah. that stuff. So we had to really eat the case. All right. Wow. Uh, if that wasn't the moment you're waiting for, this should be 2022 fall promo pack from Upper Deck themselves. I believe these are Parkhurst rookies. I do believe there's autograph content. I truthfully don't know for sure because I tried to keep it a secret from myself, like a good, like I pulled myself for secret Santa. <laughs> Packaging zero out of ten. It's very plasticky. It's so sticky. I'm gonna try and keep it a secret, guys, as best I can here. There's only three cards in here, so it's very hard not to bend it. Rookie. Parker's rookie of Cole Fillinger. Lucas Raymond. Nice. I'm going to assume that's a good one. And William Eklund. Yeah. All rookie back. I have no idea. They're, all, they're going to be rookies. Oh, they're always rookies. That is, that's no the focus. Okay. I, I don't know if there's autographed versions of these. I don't know. If, I mean, I assume blue is, well, it's numbered up to 300. So that's, I'm not sure. Hmm. I really don't know. I mean, I assume Raymond's a good one to get. I don't know what they resell for. If there's no autographs or numbered variations in here, I'd say it's a pretty big waste of a promotion. Yeah. You, know, you made me buy a hundred something dollar box and give me three Parker's base cards that <laughs> you don't even make a hobby product for anymore. You just throw it in retail. But uh, I mean, hey, I'm happy to get the Raymond. I don't know what it sells for. I'm sure it sells okay because he was uh, one of the finalists for the rookie of the year last year, but there you have it. So, uh, I mean, I don't think we need to go through all the quick hits. We have two hits that are prominent here. We'll put them back up on screen. We got a Marco Rossi Young Guns canvas and a Maddie Beneers Young Guns. We beat the odds in the Young Guns. Once again, we pulled eight different Young Guns in this product, mm -hmm. seven regular ones, and a canvas of Marco Rossi, which to be completely honest with you, I didn't think uh, canvas Young Guns were in this product. I thought they waited for Series 2 for most of those. But yeah. in any event, that is the bulk, uh, or that is the biggest hits of our first box let us know what you think let us know if you missed anything let us know if you know more than we do put leave a comment below we're always open to learn but until next time we're at a pack so we're at a time see you guys later